Hello, boys and girls. I'm going to read a book to you called Duck on a Bike by David Shannon. It takes place on a farm. And you may not know this, but I grew up on a farm. And I grew up on a farm with lots of animals, just like in this book. And animals are a special gift from God to us, to humans. Uh, he let Adam name all of the animals. God created every animal. There are so many different kinds of animals in the world and they are all unique and special. Just like you're unique and special. There's no one just like you. Well, this book has a dedication page for Emma Quack. Who do you think Emma is? Who do writers usually dedicate their books to, do you know? It's usually somebody important or special in their life, isn't it? Well, here's Duck, and he is on a bike, isn't he? One day, down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first, he rode slowly, and he wobbled a little. But it was such fun. Okay. When we start something new, sometimes we wobble a little, don't we? Or we go a little slower until we learn to do it really well. This is who he came to next. Who is that? And what does he say? Yes. A cow. And the cow says, moo. Duck rode past cow and waved to her. Hello, cow, said duck. Moo, said cow. But what she thought was, a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Next, Duck came to sheep. Hello, sheep, said duck. Ah, said sheep. But what she really thought was he's going to hurt himself if he isn't careful. Next, he saw Dog. Hello, Dog. Dog said, woof, woof. But what Dog really thought was, that looks like a lot of fun. I wish I could do that neat trick too. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. Meow, said Cat. But what Cat really thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. Duck pedaled a little farther and he came to Horse. Hello, Horse, said Duck. Nay, said Horse. But what he really thought was, I'm still faster than you are. He seemed kind of prideful, didn't he? Next, Duck rang his bell. And he said, hello, chicken, said Duck. Cluck, cluck, said chicken. But what he really thought was, watch out, Duck, before you hurt someone. Next, he came to Goat. Hello, Goat, said Duck. Mah, said Goat, but what he really thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Duck stood on the seat of his bike. As he passed Pig and Pig, he said, Hello, Pig and Pig. They said, oink, oink, but what they really thought was, Duck is such a show-off. Then Duck rode with no hands, or really wings, past Mouse. Do you see Mouse down there? And Mouse said, squeak, squeak. But what he really thought was, I wish I could ride a bike like Duck. Suddenly, and you know, that's a pretty key word, isn't it? That's an important word because it usually means there's something exciting coming in the story. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry, they didn't see Duck. 
they parked their bikes and went into the house. Lots of boys and girls on their bikes. And then look at this picture. They're all looking at the bikes. Now this would be a good point for you to turn off the video. And if you want, you can write it down or you can just say it to someone or even just out loud to yourself. Make up an ending for the story. What do you think would happen next? Okay, all the animals are looking at the bikes. Look at all of the animals now. Now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. Do you think this is a fiction or a nonfiction story? Did you tell me? Okay. I think you all got it right. It's a fiction story, isn't it? Because fiction means it's a made up story. But what a fun one. I hope you enjoyed this book. Have a great day.